here we are, a Premier League participant. You've played your first game. Good point or a bad point? Um, obviously a good point and a bad point because I think I had a chance, you know, so I didn't take it. So it's, it's a good point. It's still a good point. Yeah, good point. When Peter's not missing a double and you're stood behind him, are you thinking, oh, here we go again? Because his finishing was perfection this evening. Yeah, you know, um, like I say, I only, I missed 16s and I missed the ball. Peter didn't miss anything on doubles. So at the end of the day, you know, I can't argue with that. It's When I got my chance, I didn't take that to take that leg off him. So, um, listen, he's class. And, you know, I'm just happy with the way I played and I'm happy with one point. Bit of a strange day. How did you feel this morning when you woke up to the news that your World Cup winning teammate, unfortunately, failed his COVID test and wouldn't be participating? Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's hard on, on, on Gezi, obviously, because, you know, being world champion, world number one, he wants to be here, yeah? And, you know, I obviously feel sorry for, for the guy. You know, um, he's a good friend, great dar player, and I think the Premier League will miss him. You know, it's, listen, we need him there, and the public like to see him play, so... You know, I'm gutted for him. In your quest to win this title, though, with Gezi sadly not being here, does it make it a little bit easier? No, I don't say that because James Wade is not an easy player. You know, he's proven that many, many, many a time, you know. And listen, he's class. So um, it's going to be as difficult, you know. So maybe the number one seed has gone, but there's a damn good one coming instead of him. So, yeah. Have you got yourselves any points targets that you want from this first block of five? So, sorry, for the commentary's going on down there. I didn't hear the word, right? I said, have you set yourself a points target that you'd like for this first block of five nights? I no, I'm not, to be honest, no. I just want to do as good as I can. And hopefully I get to the next stage. You know, I take it day by day, match by match, and hopefully I'll do okay. Great. Pleasure as always, lad. And well done, mate. Thank you, Val. Good man. Uh, Johnny, there's a, there's a lot going in the background, but I'll uh, I'll try my best. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's I mean a, a debut against Peter Wright and to throw those sort of darts. Um, what are the emotions like when you're up there? It's a Premier League debut. It's a big moment for you. Yeah, obviously I knew I had you know a massive task ahead of me. You know, and um, playing against Peter, who I, I rate as one of the best players in the world. You know. Um, I'm just glad I came away with the point. Could have been better, but, you know, I've done all right. Peter never gave me that second chance on missed doubles, so, you know, he took every double. And, you know, it's hard. You've just got to concentrate on your own game and just try and get that point. For you, obviously, you're one of the, the most informed players going into this event. Was there ever any worry that nerves would be a big factor? Because you certainly didn't seem to show any. Yeah, to be honest, in the practice room, I was nervous. I was very nervous because obviously it's my, you know, it's my second time on the Premier League stage. But as a full-time player, it was my first time, and to play against Peter Wright, you know, I was really nervous. But as I started to throw, I felt really good, and like the nerves kind of went. So I, I felt comfortable, you know. How much good is that going to do for you going forward? Knowing that you've thrown a big average, you've got your first point on the board, and you've given. Peter Wright, the world number three, uh, a great game up on there. Well, obviously it's good, you know, and, uh, you know, it's a tick in, in one of the boxes, like, you know, and, yeah, you know, I just look I look forward for every other one, you know, so, yeah, bring it on. Well, we wish you the best of luck, Johnny. Hopefully we'll see you later in the week. Hey, Josh, thank you, Pat. Johnny, we spoke on Friday and you said you wanted to get off to a good start in the Premier League. Would you have taken a point before the game? Um, yes, obviously, I would have. And, you know, I'd take the point after the game. You know, it's, um, yeah, it's a point against one of the best players in the world. So, I'm a happy man. Try and learn by missing that double 16 and hitting it next time. So, yeah, happy days. Walking out, hearing your work, walk on music on the Premier League stage, how was that for you? Yeah, brilliant, brilliant. You know, um the music going, John McDonald tapping his foot to, to Johnny Be Good. Yeah, it, it tickles me. So, yeah, happy, really happy. I, I'm proud to be here. Yeah. How would you sum up your first game as a full time player in the Premier League? Yeah, I loved it. I, you know, I felt good up there. I, obviously, I, I don't 
look into averages and stuff, but it's nice to see a big average. And yeah, I just felt comfortable and that's the most important thing, you know, and you know, I'm just looking forward to tomorrow. Brilliant. Thanks, Johnny, and best of luck for the rest of the week. Yeah.